in a game that you really can't take anything from, the Niners beat the Bucks. Uh, Tampa Bay didn't care if they won or lost and put starters away later in the game, and I don't know why, because they hadn't locked up their seed yet, but maybe they wanted the fourth seed more, so um, things worked out for them. They lost, they got the fourth seed, and now they get to play the Giants, and I think that's the matchup they probably wanted, but what do I know, and that could easily come back to bite them. So, uh, as for this game, the highlight was Patrick Willis, who comes through with another massive performance. Um, 20 tackles, 2 sacks, a forced fumble, and these stats are obviously inflated by the fact that the Niners don't know how to play offense, but he's a player. He's a player. And um, as for the Buccaneers, it's nice to see Jeremy Stevens step up for me personally, especially because he's an old Seattle player, and I still root for him. I got no hard feelings for him. I know he did some things bad up, he did some bad things up here, but I got no hard feelings, and I hope the guy does well. And I hope he makes an impact for Tampa in the playoffs, just not against us, because uh, when you get into playoffs, it's about business. But I'm glad to see Stevens doing some good things. Uh, Cardinals beat the Falcons in overtime in a game that nobody seemed to notice happened. But there were some interesting things. Roddy White, huge game to cap off his breakout season. And he's going to be a good player for a while, it looks like. And nice to see him work things out because he was so bad last year. Oh, man. Chris Redman, 300 yards. Uh, Kurt Warner, 370 yards. Um, you know, for those two things to happen on the same football field today after Chris Redman had been selling insurance for five years and Warner had been jumping from team to team for the last, I don't know, four years. That's pretty r ridiculous right there. And, um, you know, Atlanta tried to put together that comeback at the end, and I felt they played admirably, but things were not to be. Arizona came through with a field goal at the end, and I picked them, so I'm happy about it. I did pretty well in pick them this week, 10-6 uh, or something. Hopefully I can finish stronger, but I'll take that. Now, at this point, neither team's playing for much other than draft picks, but he still want to try and finish the season somewhat strong because momentum into next season is definitely something you got to think about. Titans over the Jets. After the Browns lost, I really wanted the Jets to pull the upset, but uh, Pennington, oh man, that, that pick in the end zone, really disgusting stuff right there. Right to Keith Bullock, it's like Pennington said he or want it because uh, I guess he didn't want it, <coughs> but... Um, in any case, as for the Titans, you know, they did what you would expect them to. They couldn't pass the ball very well. They ran the ball reasonably well. Uh, what's up with Vince Young's running today, this year, by the way? I, I know he is passing his down, and I kind of understand why, but this year he hasn't been able to run the ball nearly as well, and it's kind of weird. Kyle Vanden Bosch came through with that huge game, three sacks, forced to fumble, 11 tackles, and that's the Kyle Vanden Bosch I know, because... Uh, He'd been struggling a little bit this year, but he's coming through when the Titans really need it, and now they're a win away from the postseason. Um, they're de defensively, they got back to uh, Titans football. That's the Titans defense I expected to see, and if they do make the playoffs, I want to see them play that way. Because they might get to play New England, and if they can play the defense that they played uh, quite a few times this year, Watch out, even against New England, because that defense, that front four of Vanden Bosch and Odom and uh, Hainsworth, it, it can get after anybody. And as for the Jets, it was nice to see Jericho Cotri have that huge game, 152 yards. But otherwise, you know, Pennington is Pennington. He throws picks when you really can't afford one. Um, there was a missed field goal, a missed extra point, and if those hit, you're playing for OT. Couldn't run the ball well. Uh, defensively, David Harris continues to blow people away, but that's about it. <coughs> um, Patriots over the Dolphins, of course, 28-7. to Things going real well for them in the first half. Maroney broke off two long runs. Uh, Brady playing his type of football this year. Moss had a couple of nice catches. Gaffney came up with a big catch. And then in the second half, um, it's hard to explain what happened, but New England just uh, really wasn't getting things done in the uh, 
second half, and it was kind of weird. You got the feeling that Brady was forcing it, trying to go for that record that he's very close to now. He's very close to a couple records right now. And uh, it was kind of weird to watch him throwing those two picks in the second half. You got the feeling he was trying to force the ball to Moss, just trying to clinch that record before next week. And now we'll wait and see if he can do it. He He's very close. He's got several records um, within his uh, he in his headlights, and everybody's going to be able to watch that game on this Saturday and see if he does it or not. As for the Dolphins, um, you know, nice effort preventing Brady from getting the record. Obviously, after the first half, it looked like a done deal, so I applaud them for the effort of keeping their division rival down, keeping them from getting the points record and, you know, the touchdown record and blah, blah, blah. Offensively, um, I think they did some things all right. Cleo Lemon, um, given his situation, I think he's a little better than some people might think. They were able to run the ball on a couple occasions. Uh, their passing game was okay. And uh, whew, defensively, they got nice pressure. And for a team as bad as Miami right now, that's about all they can hope for. Washington 32, Minnesota 21. Uh, Minnesota disappoints me. I thought they were going to the playoffs and could make some noise when they got there, but... It doesn't look like it can happen. I don't think it's going to happen now. Uh, they needed this win, and Tavares Jackson laid an egg, really showing that he's just not ready for the big show yet. Adrian Peterson, Peterson laid an egg of his own, and it's hard to expect him to do much with nine-man boxes, but even so, they just could not run the ball, and Tavares Jackson could not take advantage of the, you know, eight or nine-man boxes. Uh, you know, got to be able to do better than that. Um, and Washington, I, I felt they played a pretty close to perfect game for their needs. Todd Collins, he's uh, looking like David Garrard or Jeff Garcia out there. He's just protecting the ball. And we might get them in the playoffs, it looks like, and uh, it should be fun. should be fun. I'm feeling pretty good about it, but right now Washington's just playing some mistake-free football and making enough plays to win, and it's they're looking pretty good. Uh, they're running the ball well. They're passing the ball conservatively. The receivers are finally making plays. And defensively, you know, we saw what they were able to do. They got turnovers. Uh, they got good quarterback pressure. And uh, they won pretty convincingly, I think. And finally, the Chargers-Broncos game. I didn't watch most of this game, and I can't say I cared to. Just what you expect. Denver could not handle the San Diego pass rush. Could... Could not stop the run for the most part. Uh, Cutler got hit several times, fumbled, threw picks. What you would expect from a young quarterback in an offense like this right now, which is a little broken. Um, San Diego ran the ball well, passed the ball reasonably well, got great pressure. And, you know, San Diego is looking a little better and better every week. And you, you're thinking, are they going to make noise in the playoffs? Um, I'm getting a sneaking suspicion that they're going to sneak up on some people and um, make some noise in the postseason. I'm not making any promises, but uh, watch out for them because they got plenty of talent. And that's all I got for this week, and I'll see you guys when it's time to make predictions.